Virginia General Assembly is still at work. Both houses will pass a budget this week, but now we're seeing a divide and not necessarily along party lines, but along regional ones. Yeah, so this is going to threaten two big Northern Virginia items, the monumental arena deal and of course Metro funding. Our Matt Gregory joins us in studio tonight with more on what's happening here and what's at stake, Matt. Hey guys, Virginia's battle lines have been drawn up and the biggest opposition to Northern Virginia's plans comes from Hampton Roads. This week as the General Assembly hashes out a budget, monumental plans hang in the balance. Sunday, the Virginia Senate gave us a first look at its budget proposal and missing from that budget any mention of a future sports arena in Alexandria. Everybody agrees that this is not a good deal for Virginia and we're not going to let billionaires build their fortunes on the backs of our taxpayer dollars. Portsmouth State Senator Louise Lucas has sizable influence and she chairs the Senate Finance Committee. For weeks, she has led the charge against Monumental's plans to move the Wizards and Capitals to Potomac Yard. One thing is still missing here and that is that the governor fails to consider our priorities. I think that we can address the needs of every part of the Commonwealth. Arlington State Senator Barbara Favola says just because the Senate Finance Committee scrapped the monumental plan doesn't mean the deal is dead. And the arena project is still going through lots of uh, review. Here's where it stands. While it's not in the Senate budget, the House of Delegates budget does have funding for the arena. This week, both houses will pass their budgets, and then starting next week, a conference made of both houses will decide what goes into the budget and what hits the cutting room floor. Certainly have a lot of big issues to talk about. Which means plans for an Alexandria sports arena could still happen. And there is another significant piece missing from the Senate budget, additional funding for Metro. But Senator Favola says that too will get a review after both houses pass their budgets. They still have a little time though. What, yeah, March? March 9th uh, they adjourn? Well, so this is the thing. They can adjourn, but they, if you recall last year, can continue on as long as it takes to yeah. pass a budget. Mm -hmm. And we saw it go into the summer last year. Right. And they can hash this out for as long as it takes. But the Senate and the House, they will pass. They both tell me. At least representatives from both tell me. <laughs> the two buildings I was going to say that's a whole lot. <laughs> so of the buildings do not calls. speak. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, those two uh, are supposed to pass by the end of the week. So by Friday, okay. we should know what their budgets look like, and then they can start conferencing, and we'll see if something gets passed. My gut tells me they don't want this to go into the summer. They want to they wanna handle it. That's yeah. what the hope is, but we'll see what happens. We'll okay. see. And good okay. to see you, yeah. Matt, during these Regular hours. It's hour. just to be awake <laughs> during the daylight and not asleep. This is my bedtime usually. Don't well, you miss your get up, DC friends? Welcome to your new life. I, I miss everybody, but I'm so happy to see new people. <laughs> Thank you, Matt. Thanks, see guys. you, Matt. All right. On